Welcome back to another video, another food video actually. We're here at a seafood restaurant in Samra. It's in the Natural Center. Yeah, it's called Mr. Pelicano. Yeah, so they invited us here to try a couple of dishes of theirs, uh, showcase their food, show you guys what you can expect for food that's in the Natural Center as well as seafood that's actually in Samra. It's so. all fresh too. I admit I'm very, very picky when it comes to seafood, especially certain fish and anything like raw fish, like a tuna and stuff. So I'm going to stick to just trying some of their jumbo shrimp. Mm -hmm. And Chris is going to try some yeah. of the other things that I don't care for as much. Yeah, I told him just to pick for me uh, what they want to showcase. And, uh, and Luckily, he's not picky. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I'm going to get. Uh, we're going to get a, an appetizer and then a meal as well. So yeah, uh, we're going to sit down and wait for our food. So when you come to the Natural Center, their restaurant's right at the very back. So if you come in from the Beach Street, you just go right to the back or if you come from the side street it's right here as well they have a uh, seating right beside so you can sit there or you can also sit in the natural center area on the on the tables but there's lots of seating and uh, yeah you can uh, they have drinks they have smoothies and things like that so yeah uh, Shane has got a spot so we're gonna go sit down all right so while we're waiting for our first dish I thought I'd just go over the menu with you so you know what to expect they do have a special menu which is on the blackboard which is on the screen right now showing you what uh, the specials are right now and then for their main menu, they have, which I'm gonna put up here so you can see it, they have uh, fish and chips, squid and chips, shrimp and chips, uh, fried whole fish, fish quesadilla, shrimp quesadilla, grilled mahi-mahi, grilled swordfish, grilled tuna, which is, tuna is always awesome, uh, tuna tatar, a fish casado, and then a fried, what is it, mac, mac, macarella. There. I'm not sure what that is so yeah it's quite a, quite a good sized uh, menu you see it ranges from like 4,000 colonies to uh, 6,500 which is the most expensive one which is the grilled mahi mahi so it's uh, yeah everything's just under like $11 uh, for a dish so yeah it's really reasonable price for uh, fresh seafood here in Samara can't wait to try it and uh, yeah we'll see what they bring us so yeah also while we're sitting here waiting for our first dish to arrive I just want to thank our uh, new patreon supporters that have signed up in the last uh, week actually since we did the videos in Tamarindo so we want to thank uh, Tony and Christine Jeff and Joe uh, your support is uh, very appreciated uh, because of that we're able to uh, continue to make these videos go on the, the trips to different areas and we use that money to uh, like pay for food and show you what it's like or gas or things like that so thank you guys very much and uh, I know a couple of you already sent the picture to for your mobile background. You'll all be sending yours soon. And uh, again, thank you guys very much. All right, so we ordered a couple drinks. Shana got a ginger, is it ginger lemonade? Ginger lemonade. Yeah, and then I got a mixed uh, fruit. Uh, it's a cool little jar it comes in. I can open it. Trade? Yeah, it's really good. It's so fresh. Very fresh. Yeah. Of course, it's fresh fruit in Costa Rica. Yours is like sweeter than mine. Mm -hmm. A little bit sweeter. It's, it's really, really good though. Which I like. Yeah. Make a, uh, put a, some beer in there. The Moscow Mule and some vodka. <laughs> Yeah, it's nice having uh, fresh drinks like this. Okay, so our first two dishes have come. We've got a tuna sashimi, as well as a tuna tartar. Shana is not a raw tuna fan. <laughs> She's tried many try times. It, yeah, yeah, she tried yeah, it, but tried it's just it. not. For somebody that doesn't care for tuna, it's got good texture and stuff like that. It's just not my favorite, but yeah. you'll like it. Yeah, so I'm gonna give it a go, let you guys know how it is. So nice. A slice of tuna, eat over the plate, and then dip it in some soy sauce. I don't know if there's just sesame seeds in there, if they mix it with anything. But. It's, it's sashimi, it's really good actually. It's nice to be able to get this, so fresh. This is definitely a, a good, good starter, nicely cut, little strips. It's always good with soy sauce. Yeah, definitely recommend getting that if you're into raw tuna. Shane will have the bread though, because it probably <laughs> looks <the> good. <laughs> Dip it in the soy sauce. All right, now for the tartare. So, uh, looks like there's cucumber, tomato, onion, the tuna, and 
and some some seasonings. Again, I like raw tuna and just tuna in general, actually, even the stuff in the can. <laughs> so this is much better. So I'll try it without bread first. Yeah, it's really good. See, I like this better than ceviche because ceviche is so limey. Where this actually has a mix of like oil and all the seasonings and things like that. It's nice that it has the fresh tomato and the onion and stuff in there too for more texture. Yeah, it's like a little, kind of like a little salad, like a tuna salad kind of thing. Exactly. So now I'm going to try it with the bread. Oh, sorry. No, that's, that's okay. okay. <laughs> we have a, a viewer here. They just had lunch here too. <laughs> Bye. Bye. See so you. Have a good day. So yeah, I'm gonna try with the bread now, just add a little more texture. You should try it on the bread. It's really good on the bread. <laughs> I'm gonna be full after this day. <laughs> Still have meals coming too, apparently. Mm -hmm. Go for some more of the uh, sashimi. They definitely know how to do fresh seafood. Yeah, really, really well done. You guys will love it here. The crazy thing is we actually haven't eaten here before. This is the first time we've eaten here and we've seen it all the time. We were always like, oh, we should go eat there. We just uh, haven't yet. We'll definitely be coming back now for sure. Shane will end up doing like the, the shrimp quesadilla or something, which yeah, will, I will love probably shrimp. be really good. So yeah, Shane is a, Shane is a big shrimp. shrimp. Shana likes shrimp and um, like lobster crab, the shellfish like that. And really, really, really mild white fish. Yeah. It has to be super mild, no fishy taste. <laughs> yeah, no fishy fish in her One books. tastes like even like the slightest bit of tuna flavor yeah. in that and it's still just childhood memories when I didn't like canned tuna, I guess. <laughs> Too many canned tuna sandwiches in kindergarten. Yeah, thanks mom and dad. All right, so I'm gonna continue eating this until our next meals show up. So we got our actual meals now, not the appetizers. So we got the uh, jumbo shrimp, which is a special. And uh, yeah, it looks really good. They're huge. Massive. <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, I'm not like the biggest shrimp fan. I do like if it's really fresh and really tender. The problem is a lot of people overcook it so it's like chewy. Um, so I'm gonna try this and see if I like it. I'm sure it's cooked well. And then also got the Mahi Mahi burger they sent, they brought out to us. And the Shannon got a side of fries as well with the, the shrimp. And then it's got a dip which was... It has ginger and onion and mayonnaise. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna try. I'll try that first and let you know. <laughs> Yeah, it's good with the ginger in there. It's nice. It's different, yeah. Love ginger. It's like such a versatile root. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna we gotta dissect the shrimp now so we can actually try it because it's the whole shell and everything in the head. Take okay. some prep. Go. You can do one. Are you just chasing a chasing a pineapple? Take that guy apart. Okay, I'll do it on camera. <laughs> I didn't want to. It's not very ladylike. No. Let him do it. He can. I can be a caveman. <laughs> It's like how we were eating the skewers in our, in our last video with our hands. Because I don't eat shrimp a lot, I'm not actually sure how to dissect a shrimp. So yeah, this is the first. Oh, it's on there good. I don't know, I've never had, I've had lots of shrimp but not whole like no. this. It's hard to get off. Maybe you go like that. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, look how easy I got mine. Yeah. It's because... Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yes. Yeah, it's okay. Yes. Gracias. I can tell already it's going to be tender. Now you can do all of mine after too. Yeah. <laughs> Is there a dip or anything? No, just like that. So I like that because they put garlic butter on the outside, you said? Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah, garlic butter on it. But it would be good in the ginger sauce too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, like that's a good shrimp because it's actually tender. It's cooked well. Yeah, you can tell they did a good job. Mm -hmm. It's not dry. The only thing I would say is like a little bit of salt maybe, but I mean, you can add that at the table. Actually, my hands are <laughs> dirty. Yeah, see, that's better to have a little bit of that salt on there. All right, so I'm gonna dissect the rest of them for Shayna, and then I'm gonna <laughs> tell you about the burger. All right, so now for the mahi mahi burger. So it's got a nice, uh, nice bun. It looks like a almost like a brioche, and then it's got a couple fillets of mahi mahi, cucumber, tomato, lettuce onion and then it looks like a, a mayo of some sort. All right, now to go in for the bite. Definitely juicy. <laughs> Is it saucy? 
Yeah, it's really good though. For that, I mean, it is like a, it's just like a mayo. I think it's probably similar, the same one that's on the side for the dip ginger? with the ginger. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah, it is. It's the same. Which is good with fish. Yeah. To have something. Like, yeah. Like a fresh ginger flavor. With yeah. Fish. It's good with the uh, cucumber with the fish. It adds that like that freshness, a little bit of like a palate cleanse when you're eating too. Cucumber is always good. Is it the same sauce on the on the sandwich as what's in the dip? Yeah, yeah. So good. that's what I thought. Yeah, yeah it's really good. Thank yeah. you. Nice and fresh. And juicy. And I have switched to an Imperial. I drank my fruit juice, so I get rewarded with an Imperial. <laughs> Gotta have something to wash the, the food down with. So yeah, if you're definitely in the mood for like a burger, but not like a hamburger, like beef burger or chicken burger, definitely come here. Get the Mahi Mahi. They also have a tuna burger, um, which would also be good. So yeah, it's uh, nice and fresh. That's a, the great thing about all the seafood here and in Costa Rica in general is it's like caught usually that day or the day before. So you're gonna get like really fresh oh, seafood. So the ocean's right there. Yeah, I can, I can pretty much see the ocean from here if that truck wasn't in the way. So that's how fresh it is. <laughs> all right, gonna finish devouring this burger and uh, we'll see you in a bit. All right, so they brought us a little fruit, fruit for dessert, <laughs> a lunch dessert. Uh, oh, it says almonds and I think some honey. On some honey, yeah. And then papaya and banana and pineapple. It's always nice to have fruit. If you've never been to Costa Rica, we've said this before, and have had pineapple here, and it's completely different. Oh, gracias. Gracias. Vodka. <laughs> Lots of water here. Mucho mm. agua. Guys, it's gonna stay hydrated. Yeah, whenever there's pineapple, you eat all of it off the plate because it's so good. No matter how full you are, mm -hmm. you know, you're free. So Lorenzo was saying that his tuna that he, they get here, they have one day off that they close. They drive to Punta Arenas, which is is it two two hours from here, two and a bit? Yeah, about two hours go down there to the port and they actually test the tuna. They'll like take samples of it, test it, see how good it is as far as the, the quality. And then um, they'll buy like the big tuna. They'll, the guys will fillet it there. They bring it back to Samara and they'll work until about three in the morning to do all the cuts on the tuna so that it's all perfect. And, um, and that way you get a good quality tuna. You say in like some of the other places have a different tuna that's older and they put a smoke into it to make it look pink so that you think you're actually getting a good tuna, but it's actually not. It should be a little bit darker. So yeah, he was just explaining all that to me. It's really cool that they take that whole day to go down and get good quality with fish. With a baby. Yeah, with a baby. pretty impressive. Yeah. And, um, One same day that they get off and they get... <laughs> yeah, that, that's how like dedicated they are to the restaurant. So definitely high quality seafood here. Uh, they do that for the mahi too. They get it from down there. So you can tell it's, uh, mm -hmm. it's quality, quality yeah. seafood. So you won't be disappointed when you come and eat here. All right, so we want to thank you guys for inviting us for an awesome meal. Definitely recommend thank you guys you. come and try it, and uh, you'll probably have it more than once uh, once you do have it. Uh, when you do stop by, come say hi. Tell them we sent you to to, to here and to say hi to them. And uh, yeah, thank you again. We have thank a sticker you. for you. I don't know if you can put it like on the fridge so people know for sure that they're at the right spot. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, thank you, and uh, keep up the good work. It's it's such good quality food. So really good. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Enjoy. All right, so we are. Nice and full now. Got some leftovers. Oh, that was so good. Yeah, so that will definitely be coming back. I want to try the tuna burger next time. Just we had the tuna, two tuna dishes in the beginning, so he didn't want to give us a tuna burger as well because he overloaded us on tuna. So he did the mahi, which is still good. Yep. But yeah, definitely recommend uh, stopping by here and having a great meal. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. If you guys liked it, please leave a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell icon to get notified when we come up with new videos like this. And we'll see you in the next one. Ciao. Fresh vegetables. The onion and the uh, sorry, start over. Yeah. I was gonna say potato. <laughs> it's not potato, it's tomato. Yeah. Tell me the name of the video, your website again. Well, I'll give you a card. Okay, perfect. Yeah, we're gonna walk. Yeah, we, we, it would be funny to watch it from here. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> All right, now, st <laughs> st st little st in there for nothing. Clean up a bit. All right, so now for the mahi mahi burger. Who's mahi mahi? Yeah. Let's see my start over. <laughs> All right, so we are very full now. Oh, that oh, was we amazing. Oh, we forgot our tatar. <laughs>